All right, I'm going to do a video on the fun little pretext Muslims like using when they go and persecute Christians. You know, because they always try to find, even in Muslim majority countries, they always find some little fun little pretext they like to come up with to persecute Christians and pretty much anybody who doesn't follow the false pedophilic prophet Muhammad. So this is on a, a med forum, me forum, whatever they call it. Uh, it says, Islamists find pretext to terrorize religious minorities in their midst. And, you know, originally published under the title Islamic Terrorist Blame Game. Yeah, exactly. Because, you know, the Mo I mean, aside from the fact that the, the Quran openly tells Muslims to do this kind of stuff, the Muslims always have to find some kind of way to, to justify going out and beheading Christians and pretty much anybody. Uh, even anybody who just professes to be Christian, you know, or professes, you know, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Yeah, that's Islam for you. It's the spirituality of Ishmael. But uh, it says in the article, Last, uh, this was published, I think, back in August. It says, Last May, the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria published a video of the execution of about 20 uh, Christian civilians in Nigeria. As with many other such ISIS-type videos, the terrorists stood behind their bound uh, and kneeling victims before before knocking them over and carving, uh, carving their heads off to cries of Allahu Akbar. Before doing so, one of the masked Muslims speaking in the Pusa language said the execution of these Christians was to avenge the killing of the group's leaders in the Middle East earlier in 2022. This is apparently a reference to ISIS leader Abu Abraham, Abraham al Hashemimi al whatever you say this guy's name is, this dork's name. Uh, a man who with a reputation for extreme brutality, who was killed last February during an airborne raid by US and Kurdish forces in northwestern Syria. So apparently these Christians somehow are. In connection with this this uh, killing of the guy, uh, what? Seriously, just 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 this bizarre pretext they like using. They did just. I mean, talk about. I mean, even even saying it, it's scraping the bottom of the of the barrel. Even saying it that way is a it's just a huge stretch. You know, it's just being nice about it. I mean, seriously, <laughs> wow. Talk about being desperate. But anyway, goes on to say the reader may be pondering how. Impoverished Christian civilians in Nigeria are connected to or responsible for the activities of U.S. and Kurdish forces in Syria. I mean, you know, it's over almost a thousand miles away. Uh, the fact is, Muslim terrorists are notorious for offering any number of pretexts, many of which border on the absurd to justify their cowardly targeting and murdering of the Christian minorities in their midst. For example, ISIS cited similar grievances to justify its grisly slaughter of 21 Christians, 20 cops, and one Gahanian on the shores of Libya in 2015. The article in Debek, however they call it, the Islamic State's online magazine in English titled Revenge for the Muslimat, Muslim Women Persecuted by the Coptic uh, Crusaders of Egypt claim that the 21 Christians were slaughtered in revenge for two Coptic women who back in 2010, according to Islamic propaganda, were compelled by the e Egypt's Coptic Orthodox Church to recant their voluntary conversion to Islam and return to Christianity. What? So, and by the way, the Coptic Orthodox Church is just Roman Catholicism repackaged, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being some kind of apologist for the religion, but the point is, is that they're targeting them because they profess faith in Christ. See, they would target me the same reason well, they would they targeting them is because you profess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. But seriously, I mean that that's their that's their reason for doing that. Somehow, uh, these these just random Christians they've grabbed somehow are, you know, somehow to be, to be basically be blamed for something that happened in 2010, where some uh, basically Christian women renounced Islam. Like what? Just talk about just. I mean, again, calling even even calling it a bizarre pretext is just. Is, is being nice about it because I mean he's right it, it borders on absurdity but continuing on indeed the late Coptic Pope Shiunda III who is nearly, then nearly 90 years old and immobile was portrayed as a US agent an abductor and torture a female Muslim converts to Christianity who uh, was stockpiling weapons in mon <laughs> like a stockpiling weapons in monasteries and churches uh, with a view to waging war against Muslims and dividing Egypt to create a Coptic state uh, the Islamic state I mean I mean really I mean, okay. The Islamic State also cited the 2020 bombing of Our Lady of Salvation Church in Baghdad as a product of revenge for those who, who for those same supposedly forced to reconvert back to Christianity, women in Egypt. Then armed jihadists had stormed the Iraqi church during the worship service, opened fire indiscriminately before detonating their suicide vests, which were filled with ball bearings to kill as many people as possible. Nearly 60 Christians, including women, children, and even babies, were slaughtered. That's Islam for you right there. See, 
they're not extremists. They're just following the Quran. They're just, they're just being good Muslims. But seriously, I mean, again, there's just these bizarre pretexts they just come up with in their own little dilute. Well, I mean, their own little devil-filled minds when you get down to it, because these guys are just a bunch of murderous, you know, barbaric, devil-filled. You know, what what does that Genesis 16 verse 12 say? Wild men. Yeah, that's 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 a good description of Islam for you right there. It's the spirituality of Ishmael. But anyway, guaranteed this is again beginning a hate speech strike for Islamophobia. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Uh, anyway, it says, nor is, the, nor is this blame the victim's tragedy limited to the Middle East. Speaking two days after a series of bombings rocked uh, Sri Lanka on Easter Sunday 2019, killing 359 people, a junior defense minister said the attack was, quote, in retaliation for the attack against Muslims in Christchurch, unquote, where an Australian man killed 51 Muslims in two mosques in New Zealand. Okay, I wanted to say something about that. The guy wasn't even a Christian. He was actually uh, followed neo-paganism. And he was basically a full on like, you know, essentially he was like a neo Nazi kind of, you know, and believe me, I, I do I do say that I do support white nationalism, but this guy was like a full on neo Nazi. He like admired China and all this other stuff. I mean so basically somehow these 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 Christians are already these well, they're Catholics, which Catholics are not Christians, which is a side issue, but these people who profess Christianity, I'll put it that way, who aren't even white, are somehow responsible for this this maniac neo Nazi going in and gunning down these Muslims. And the fact that the neo-Nazi was not even a Christian, he was, uh, what was it called? They call it Odinism or something like that. I can't remember the exact name of the thing, but like, I mean, seriously, that's their pretext. But anyway, continuing on. Two, uh, two points give the lie to all such claims of Islamic retaliation due to quote-unquote grievances. So what did the 20, Niger 20 Nigerian Christians recently slaughtered have to do with U.S. and Kurdish forces in Syria? What did the Iraqi Christians of Our Lady Church or the one decapitated Gahanian, whatever you say it, uh, have to do with imagined crimes of the Coptic Church? Yeah, I mean, what do they have to do with that? You know, they they really. I mean, not only are they have no connection, they're like literally like thousands, and like hundreds, and also thousands of miles away from the thing that even happened like years prior. You know, see that's the thing about Islam. See, because you see these Muslims, they are children of the devil, obviously, and the devil is an accuser and a liar. You know, John eight forty four and Revelation 20, uh, twelve verse nine. And the devil inspires people to commit murder. You can read that about that in First John three twelve. He inspired Cain to kill his brother Abel. You see the people, the kind of uh, pretext they come up with. I mean, it, it's totally insane. You know, it's obviously just devils influencing them, or just their own deluded minds, really. But that's the truth of the matter. That's Islam for you, right there. See, the Muslim extremists are not extremists. They're just Muslims. They're being true to their unholy, blasphemous, uh, unholy book known as the Quran. So anyway, don't be uh, don't be deceived. Uh, don't be deceived by this Chrislam movement that's coming up as well. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.